Today, we're very excited to welcome someone who sparks a reaction in everything he does. David Hiller joins us today to talk about being a stylist at one of New York City's top salons, being a cartoon artist, and chronically working. This is School of Hustle, the show where we find advice and inspiration from people who are making their own way. I'm Shannon, the VP of Social here at GoDaddy, and I live and breathe the hustle of business. Today, we're filming from the hustle of it all at the WeWork Times Square in New York City. Let's give David the warmest, biggest welcome, everybody. It's so fantastic to have you here. I am absolutely thrilled to be here. This is just uh, magical. It is, I, and I have to go back to the beginning of where the magic happened for this to even be possible and how I know you. Um, I, I have to tell everybody that one night I was at home literally looking at split ends. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm gonna get online right now and make an appointment at Bumble and Bumble for a haircut. I'm just doing it. And I saw the name David from the drop-down list. I knew nothing about David at all. I, I selected your name and I hit book. The rest is history. You know, we met and all of a sudden it was like, oh, this is so fun and great. We, we, yeah, we definitely we transitioned. We covered a lot of ground. We did, we transitioned <laughs> and I asked you, um, you know, about you know, what you do outside of hair and you started mentioning your art. I did, yes. And yeah. your art is farts with a P-H on Instagram. P-H-A-R-T-Z, farts with an F is very different. It's very different. <laughs> very. And I, I heard about that and I thought, oh my gosh, you are literally one of the top stylists in the city. I mean, you are. Thank you. It's true. Like you're, you're at a premium Did everybody salon. hear that? You are the highest tier in pricing. So I'm, I'm basing this on like your bracket and how I felt walking out. I felt amazing. Oh, uh, I hope so. Tell me about your passion for art and, and about, you know, with the hair and art and how you made that bridge between hair and Well, drawing. the first thing I want to do before I get there is that I always like to give back to people who are doing something really nice for me. So I made you a little <laughs> something. So I brought you a gift because I can't tell you how excited I am to be here. And so I just wanted to share that with you. So we'll we'll see what you think. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yay, I like the reaction, it's good. <laughs> I like the reaction. So you know, when I was doing some research, I was looking, I watched old shows. I love that noodle, I love that noodle. <laughs> and so I said, oh, noodle's gotta be in it. So. Shannon, School of Hustle, Love Farts, David Hiller. Thank you so much. Nice. Why do you create your art, and when did you find this calling? Well, when it comes to art, I found the calling as far back as I can remember, I think, when I first picked up a crayon. So it's just become a part of my being. So why do I create it? I think that that answer is kind of twofold, because there's, there's a part of my art that is very personal, and private, so when I'm at home and I'm creating, I'm in this little zone, and it's kind of like a meditation, and I'm trying to either make myself laugh, and I'm just enjoying myself and enjoying the process without anybody taking a look, no critiques, right? And then the other side of that is that I love to share it. I mean, this, is, this means more to me that to give this to you and have someone have such a great reaction for it, that means a lot. So why, why the name farts? I have to ask you, where did this come from? So I, I have this little character okay. of a dog and he's just farting. <laughs> and so my, I don't know. And so my, my humor is just sort of this like goofy toilet humor. Yeah. I think it kind of sums it up. Actually. When it I say, does. hey, I have a cartoon page. Oh yeah, well, what do you cartoon about? Well, it's called farts. Oh, okay, I kind of get it. Um, does your art ever inspire your hairstyling? Or does hairstyling ever inspire your art? I thought about this, and I think that honestly, they go hand in hand. Okay. I think that what I'm creating in hair and what I'm creating in art is sort of this like symbiotic relationship. What I'm trying to do with my artwork is I'm trying to come up with a, a unique, memorable character. I'm doing the same exact thing when I go in and I work on someone's head with their hair. I'm creating a unique, memorable character. I love and completely understand the passion that you have around your art, and I think that's incredible. I'm wondering if you could please tell us about the entrepreneurial aspect. Like, what is it about it that's your hustle? 
and what you're doing next to bring this passion into like the, the business space. Well, there is sort of a story behind this. So when I, I went to the School of Visual Arts for illustration, and when I got out of school, I was a little ill prepared for what the world was gonna, especially with freelance art. I quickly realized that freelance art on commission was not necessarily the route that I wanted to take. That's when hair was born. So I took a little bit of a detour and said, if I'm gonna do hair, I'm gonna do the best hair. So I worked my way up to New York City and at Bumble and Bumble and studied at Aveda and that all came about. I was still working very hard at my cartooning because this is what I believed in. Instagram was one of the perfect things for me to post it and get a following and get known. So that's worked. And on top of that, I've started to create merchandise and I'm excited about my website. And what the future holds is that I want to work for myself in the sense that Farts is a brand of my work. And you could branch out in any kind of merchandise you want, but you know what? Instead of doing commission work, I say, if you like my work, you can buy it. That's How about right. that? That's so right. I want to go into business for myself with the, the, the vision that I have, the vision that I love. Now, yes. we are going to play a game called Hustle Time. And the game is designed to challenge you to see how many questions you can get through in 60 seconds. Say the first thing that comes to mind and don't overthink it. Okay. I'm ready. Two, one, go. Go to cocktail. Uh, vodka martini. First place to visit when you retire. Uh, Hawaii. Early bird or night owl? Night owl. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Favorite part of your day? Uh, the night. Top best part of your workout? Uh, I don't know, chest. Personal trainers, effective or too much cash? <laughs> too much cash. Fireplace or fire pit? Fire pit. Most powerful emotion, anger or love? Oh, lo let's say love. Do you floss every day? No. Time it takes you to get ready in the morning? Five minutes. Aliens, fact or fiction? I don't know. F f fact. Finish this sentence. When I dance, I look like blank. An idiot. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Oh, I want to be invisible. Would you rather fly or talk to animals? Oh, talk to animals. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Binge watch or watch weekly? Uh, binge. Your go-to outfit? B black. Oh! What does that mean? Do we this get is your a favorite go to just black. Just black. <laughs> black? Literally. It's a New York color. It I, is. I decided to lighten up the color today with gray. <laughs> I am 19. Okay. That's a, that's a lot. Your 19 is crazy. It's really good. Okay. Nice job. Thanks. Now this next part, we, we ask our entrepreneurs the same set of questions, okay? Favorite part of your day? Favorite part of my day is working with the people, my clients. Love Aww. them. I love my clients. They're everything to me. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten? That would have to come from my father because he always says, I don't care what you do, I just want you to be happy. Yeah. And he told it to me one time when I dressed up to go to school and I looked like Cindy Lauper. And he was like, David, I don't care if you want to look like Cindy Lauper. I just want you to be happy. And I said, great. <laughs> Worst piece of advice. Oh, all the bad advice has come from me. Oh. Oh yeah. It's it's like it's either it's either when I was young and I was like, oh David, go go do that stupid thing, and I was like, all right. How do you use your career to inspire others? Do I inspire others? That's my question. I hope so. You know what? I I am just when I go to do hair, I'm just gonna go do hair, and I just want someone to leave really really happy. And when I do my art. Same thing, I want you to be happy or have evoke some sort of emotion, and if that inspires just one person, great. Ever feel like walking away? Yes. I mean, I think there's probably, if you ask my managers, there's probably like once a week where I'm like, this is it. <laughs> but I don't, because I've never walked away. One thing you still need to learn? I don't know what I need to learn, to be completely honest, because when I was young, I thought I knew everything. And the older I get, the more I realize I got a lot more learning to do, and I'm just excited to find out what that thing is. What do you want people to learn from you? I think I, I would say probably perseverance, you know? I mean, you know, I was kind of a skinny little shy, dorky kid with lots of pimples, and I never thought that I would be the person that I am yeah. right now. And so what I did was I just I made a path 
full of little tiny steps and little tiny goes and just followed them until I got here. And the, I'm still making little steps all the, all the way. So I would say just persevere, set goals, and, and work. What's next for you? Next for me is business. It's more farts, yeah. it's more merchandise. It's uh, going into business for myself, and I'm just thrilled. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for my artwork. Who inspires you? Top people that come to mind for hair is the, everybody who I work with. Yeah. I love all my buddies yeah. and my friends, and they're the best hairstylists in the world, so, so they inspire me. Uh, in terms of art, I'm a huge fan of uh, children's book illustrations. That's what I studied at the School of Visual Arts. So that's how this all started. So I love uh, old school 1940s children's book artwork and that inspires me and I have some of it on my arms right oh. now. So that's how inspired I am by them. I put it on my body. Who challenges you? Who challenges yeah. me? Myself. Yeah. I'm the biggest challenge. Because I'm, I'm, I'm always like, Matt, nah, we're going to be a little bit better next time. Next yeah. time, we're going to do a little bit more. I'm always just pushing the bar a little further. Well, we let everybody in social know you were coming. And I have one question from our tribe. OK. Um, hopefully Musing asks, have you ever had a hair or art catastrophe? What was it? How did you deal with it? Well, you know, uh, art catastrophes, yeah, accidents happen, but at the same time, I probably uh, was able to redo it so I didn't have to show them the bad piece. Um, you know, in terms of hair, geez, you're never gonna please everybody all the time. I can't say that they were a catastrophe, right. let's be honest, yeah. but uh, at the same time, you're not gonna please everyone. The way you handle it is you just, you listen, you know, you try to learn from what they're saying and you try to learn from your mistakes and then you try, you fix it the best you can yeah. and you just be honest. You don't try to put on any airs. Just be honest. Just be a human being. We have one last question. Okay. From the famous Noodle. Oh, this is the part I was this, so excited we, about. We, I, I do want to show him this picture as well. Yes, Noodle, you Oh, my. Coming, coming. <laughs> Noodle, look, buddy, it's you. This is the part I was just waiting for. Oh, I know. You gotta get the noodle squeezes, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, this just makes me feel so good. Uh, well, Noodle really likes to look his best. I he's guess. one sharp-looking pug. He is. But he's really looking for um, some sort of a new identity with his hair, and he's wondering if you might be able to provide him with any oh. sort of grooming tips. Yeah, I know. Any grooming tips or ideas as to I mean, you know, what Noodle might do with his look? Noodle, I think you're beautiful just the way you are. I don't want to change too much. I mean, maybe, you know, Noodle is in a certain stage of life. Maybe we, he could benefit from some, <laughs> from, he seems upset, from <laughs> some, uh, from like a deep conditioning treatment. Or, yeah. You know, I think that would be nice, a little shiny coat. Yeah. But I got to say, you know what, Noodle? I think you're beautiful the way you are. Yeah. I love your gray, and I'm a fan of gray, so I say keep it. <laughs> but, so we, this is just the last piece. Yeah. And this is our inspiration. I'd like to end everything off with a final thought. I'm going to read three quotes. And I just want you to tell me which quote resonates the most and why. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Two, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the ones that you did do. Three, great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Huh. Small minds discuss people. I, I think I have to go with number one. I know, right? Yeah, exactly. You only live once, but if you do once. it right, once is enough. You got one chance to do this, man. You better make it the best, right? Right? Absolutely. Well, that was fun. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for my art. And for You're being, welcome. For opening up and telling us about how you're transitioning into this entrepreneurial endeavor with your art. Well, thank and you. And just giving so much today. Well, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. There's more School of Hustle coming every week. We're bringing this to you every Wednesday. Facebook premiere, YouTube, Instagram TV, teasers across LinkedIn and Twitter, Instagram. Follow GoDaddy. Follow Farts, P-H-A-R-T-Z. I would love it. And stay in the loop and keep coming back for more Hustle every week. Bye.